Come on, Leo. Two and a half year old Leo Can is still getting the hang of things at the playground. His mom, Rihanna, is hoping to support learning throughout his life. And that means funding a registered education savings plan, or RESP, for her son's future. She says she's not convinced by Andrew Shear's latest promise. I think they need to really look at the inflation in tuition and understand how much it costs to put a child through university. Bon matin, tout le monde. Good morning, everyone. She's talking about the federal conservative the leader's promise begun, to boost their contribution from the current 20% to 30% for every dollar parents put in. That means $750 of free money for parents who contribute the maximum every year. As a dad to five great kids, I know that all parents want a bright future and every opportunity for our children. Our investments of time make a big difference, but alone, they're not quite enough. Shear says the number of low and middle income families who are starting RESPs is on the rise. But we spoke with an advocate for low income Manitobans and he says that many families can't contribute anything to post-secondary education because they're just focused on paying the bills. Those families struggle to find... So there's a number of calls or a number of numbers to the Philippines and then Cuba. It looks more like a phone book. But this 433-page document is Nadine Spears' latest phone bill from Bell MTS. The grand total? More than $61,000 on her monthly statement. Like that's my annual salary. That's my, I would have to mortgage my house to pay it. Bell MTS says it's investigating and is going to reach out to Spears. An independent national body that works to resolve cases like this one says that it could be a case of long-distance toll fraud. Hackers use your voicemail to get into your phone system. Now there could be a clause in your terms of agreement with your phone contract that says that you're responsible for securing your line and for any calls that are made. Well, in fairness, you know, most customers... Why are you proud of your mom? Um, because she loved me and even though I'm being bad, but she loves me. How does she show that she loves you? Because she loves me a lot. Uh -huh. Does she give you hugs? Yeah. Hi, my name is Hannah Aranzanzo. I'm 10 years old and I'm in grade five. I'm proud of my mom for beating the fight of cancer and doing everything she can for our, me and our family. So what do you see when you look at your mom going through that? Um, I see her as really scared, but when she knows that she has us around, then she's always happy. She doesn't care about anything else except for her family. What do you do for your mom to try and help her out? Every Friday, I think I cook her fried eggs. Like, I try to, at least. Yeah. And then um, I make her a meal and stuff like that. What's a message out there that you might want to give to other kids your age who have a mom that's going through a sickness or a really hard time? Well, I just want to say, no matter how hard the situation it is, just don't give up on everything because I know how it is to feel very like down in the dumps, but as long as you keep going and make your family member happy, um, then they'll be fine. So what is it, you said you're a football player mainly, you played for a university actually down in the States, so what is it about hockey that interests you so much? Uh, it's kind of like football in that there's a, it's a very physical game, but the difference between it and football is it doesn't stop. There's no moment to pause except for there's like a penalty or an icing or something. And it's just, the energy behind it is something that I can't really compare to at anything else. It's so exciting to sit at a game and see people getting hit into the boards and people flying up and down the ice. Like, like I said, there's nothing that I could compare it to. Have you ever played before? No, I've maybe put on a pair of skates like twice in my life and that's because they fit at that time. I have size 16 shoes, so I mean, it's difficult finding ice skates. Did you watch the whiteout parties on TV last year? Yes, I did. Yeah. And I mean, what are your expectations right now? Right now, my expectations are really high. I was just sitting at the bar talking to uh, people from St. Louis who went to Game 7 of the World Series, and they said they would rather be at this game than another Game 7 World Series. So my bar is pretty high. I'm expecting it to be pretty rowdy tonight.
So you have a ticket to the game, so you're actually going to go in the arena later. But regardless of win or lose, what do you think you're going to tell your brother, who is probably very jealous right now, what do you think you're going to tell him about this whole experience? Uh, my brother Justin's probably going to have to make a trip with me next time we come up. He's going to have to come see Winnipeg for himself. Uh, everybody's been awesome. Uh, everybody's been super friendly. Everybody's still shocked that i am come so far, and everybody wants to talk to me about it, apparently. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Donovan. I uh, hope you have fun at the game tonight. Ismaila, the puck drop is at 7 o'clock tonight at Bell MTS Place. All right, thanks so much.